This is recording. This is recording. Oh shit. Like I suspected. Recording here. It's recording there. Yeah. We gotta do our little. G'day everyone, Lead It Pros here from F Stop Lounge, and I'm pretty excited because today we're in Perth and we have the fabulous Benjamin Von Wong. Welcome, Benjamin. Hello. Uh, I Thank just you. wanted to have a quick chat to you about the Fiji workshop that's coming up. But first of all, let's just get into what you're doing here in Perth and what you've just done over the last couple of days. Well, I am in Perth because somebody sent me some photos of a beautiful location called the Pinnacles. Right. And uh, I figured that since I had a free ticket to Australia, I might as well swing by and detour off to these interesting Pinnacles and do a photo shoot out of it. So that's exactly what we did. And it has got to be one of the most complicated photo shoots that I have done in the last couple of years where everything went wrong. But the photos, despite it all, actually uh, turned out pretty awesome. Awesome. And people can go and see those on your blog, obviously, when this uh, video comes to air. Depending on when this yeah. video comes out, <laughs> the photos may or may not be on my blog. Hello. <laughs> but they will be at some point in time. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yes. Uh, that was just the phone for people that didn't hear that. Um, now, Benjamin, we've obviously got you on board to become an instructor at the Fiji workshop. Yes. Um, are you excited about it? And can you tell the people that are interested in coming along what to expect when they come to your sort of workshop session? So what I had, or so what, I think what's really interesting about the Fiji workshop, or at least the way it's laid out, is that each person gets to experience a little bit of what every single instructor that's going to be there has to offer and it's just kind of in a carousel layout so that means that you don't really need to pick and choose your classes which I think is kind of cool and yep. beyond the fact that you know you're actually going to be able to experience all these different photographers well you also have the opportunity to you know it's it's a relatively small environment so you're gonna be in a super cool place but you'll be able to mingle with people on a very intimate level and all the different instructors are going to be there and you know, I had the chance to meet one of them, uh, Tony Hewitt, yep. at Brisbane uh, quite recently, and he was just a fabulous guy, completely different style from mine, but uh, with a wealth of experience that just is absolutely um, fantastic to just sit in and listen to. And on my end of things, well, what I was hoping to offer was, was really just the chance to just blaze through, start to finish, what goes on from shoot all the way to post-production in as little time as possible. So whether or not that's going to happen, <laughs> uh, it's going to be one of those challenges, but those are the challenges that are actually quite fun because you really get the chance to just be on set and, and, and experience it straight off the bat. And, um, you know, I think the way to look at the whole Fiji workshop thing is almost a glorified workshop, uh, a glorified vacation where <laughs> you not only get the chance to be in a beautiful location and, you know, have the chance to relax and mingle with people, but also learn along the way. And I think it's, it's, it's a pretty cool, it's, it's a great idea. I've never actually seen a workshop. I've done a whole bunch of different workshops and yep. trade shows and everything, but you've never, I've never really seen this format before and I'm actually quite excited about it. Cool, cool, man. Now, you said something about learning. When you take a photo, what do you take out of it, like for yourself personally? What, what gets you excited in a photo? What's that one element that you look for? Yeah, so to me, photography or every photo shoot, there's always gonna be a story to it and I always try to construct a story um, with the elements that I have at my disposal. And, you know, you're always in a situation where there are going to be things that you can't control and there are going to be things that you wish are going to be different or whatever. But at the end of the day, your job as a photographer is to make sure that the shot comes out fantastic no matter what happens. And, and uh, you know, that's, that's really what photography is about. So in the Fiji workshop, um, I think I'm supposed to be teaching the same thing every single time, but... My hope is to teach the same thing every single time, but come out with different photos cool. every single time. So, you know, um, in a sense, as a photographer, you set your own challenges, you set your own goals, and you try to achieve all these different milestones. And I hope to at least impart a piece of that because, you know, everybody has their different sets of attributes, what they're good at, what they're not good at. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, we all try our best to do whatever we can. And so I think that I've kind of figured it out. Yeah. Not, I wouldn't say I've mastered it yet, but I've kind of figured out how to at least come up with something half decent every single time I take out my camera and 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 maybe I can share a part of that with everybody. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. Oh, well, I look forward to coming along to your, your own sort of sessions as well. Uh -oh. I'm going to I'm going to be learning a lot myself. Uh, I don't know at all. <laughs> but just just sort of uh, give me a little bit of uh, insight into what 
sort of the technical aspects that you'll be learning, whether it be gear related, what sort of things would I learn in particular with the sort of stuff that you use to create those epic images that we see? I suppose what differentiates me in terms of teaching style from that of another photographer is that I don't tend to focus on either the technical nor the ethereal. Like I don't, I don't really focus too much on the philosophical as much, um, nor do I focus really on what gear you need in order to achieve a certain result. What I do try to do is, is teach people how to approach a problem and how to solve it. What is that thought process that goes behind? Um, how do you assess a situation and make the best of it with what you have available? And that, that applies for everything from shooting all the way down to post-production. Um, because at the end of the day, technique is only, it's just a tool. And, yep. and everyone's going to have a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, and at the end of the day, what differentiates someone who's successful and someone who's not is how resourceful you are, not the amount of resources that you have available. Um, so if you're able to make the best of what you have, then you can create some really great results. And that's, that's really the essence, the quintessence of what I, I, I would attempt to pass on to those who decide to come and suffer with me. <laughs> and I, I suppose sort of the, the image that comes to my mind out of that is probably your um, cheap camera cheap challenge, camera challenge. <laughs> yeah, with digital rev. Yeah. What was, what was the highlight thing? Obviously, I think you edited the, the images at the airport from yeah. what I learned at the, yeah. on, from the video. What, what was a highlight from that experience? Uh, so for those of you who don't know exactly what the cheap camera challenge was, uh, Digital Rev gave me this dinky, I think it's got to be a six or eight year old Ricoh camera. It's a Ricoh with, R8 or something. Yeah, it's yeah. got no manual controls or anything. And I had to take these spectacular fire photos with it. And I decided to edit the final images with my telephone. And um, I guess the takeaway from it was, well, there were a lot of problems that came out of it. I had no manual controls and fire requires, you know, manual exposures. You're trying to control the shutter speed and everything. So I put it on sport mode and everything. So it really just coming up with different solutions. But I think at the end of the day, the takeaway from that experience was that there's always a solution. Yep. And whether or not you can find out what it is, is entirely up to the person who's controlling the system. So, um, you know, I'm more than happy to shoot my workshop with whatever camera I have in my hands and I yep. think I think or whatever flashes that are given to me and I think that I can still provide the same amount of information because that's really what photography is about you know you need to be able to do a good shot regardless if the lighting you have is an iPhone or a f brown color power 133 yeah I'm not supposed to swear am I <laughs> oh good we'll, we'll beep that one out <laughs> beep. Perfect. But yeah, I cool. think I think it, that's really what it is. And, and I think that's what you also notice in my in my channel is, you know, um, you know, my my most most viral shoot was the underwater photo shoot in Bali that yeah. was shot with a Nikon D90. Yeah. And it was shot with a D90 because I drowned my camera the day before. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> like it doesn't really matter what you have in your hands. If, if you really have that vision, you can pull it together. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, I suppose that's what it is about. Yeah those challenges make you a better photographer out of it as well and I suppose when you get faced with another challenge you learn from your past experiences and that's something that really uh, the Fiji workshops all about we want to sort of make you a better photographer by coming along um, exposing you to all these various situations with different instructors like Benjamin here will um, be yeah he'll be coming along if that makes sense yeah. Um, well, now, I plan on coming along. Quick uh, pop quiz. Best thing about Perth while we're in Perth? Best thing? Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen very much of Perth. <laughs> um, I, I would say the heat, but I really don't like the heat. Yeah. Um, I hear there are very exotic locations, and the Pinnacles was pretty cool, and Margaret Urut was pretty cool. Yep. Um, the people have been very nice. Okay. But the best thing... <laughs> Danny's is, eyebrows. Danny's eyebrows. Ah. Danny, quick, come in the shot. Come in the shot. Quick. This is Danny. If you don't know Danny, Danny These is, eyebrows is have a been... legend. Can you sum up Danny, Danny in a quick sentence um, for those that don't know? Danny is an uh, uh, aspiring photographer from India who has moved to Perth, who loves taking selfies with his selfie stick. You'll see that some of those. Who has Facebook, an yeah. extremely unique personality. Uh, with the drive and passion that you should all aspire to have within yourselves.
Fantastic. I just met him a couple of days ago and he was a huge stalker and I can't get rid of him. But <laughs> besides that, um, he's a pretty cool guy. Cool, cool. Thanks, Dan. All right, get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Benjamin, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Cheers. And um, I look forward to seeing you in Fiji with everyone else out there. And if you're interested in booking the workshop, head over to the workshop page and we'll see you in Fiji. Cheers.